There's a rise of white nationalism. People who uh, identify with the, their white heritage. Uh, and I say that the biggest terror threat in this country comes from radicals on the far right, primarily white men. Coming to get you. Oh man. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Whew. Man, I just dreamt. I just had this horrible nightmare that the media is going to just start accusing all of us of being white supremacists and white nationalists. Completely crazy. Oh, God. Since the Russian collusion delusion is about to be exposed, the media is trying to pivot over to a new narrative to attack Trump and his supporters. And it's looking like they're going to go with the white supremacy angle. Now let me just say right off the bat, as far as I know, Trump has never done or said anything to lead anybody to believe that he's a white supremacist. If you have any actual evidence of Trump being in league or somehow working with white supremacists or supporting white nationalism, go ahead and show me in the comment section. Since before the election, the media has manufactured an alternate reality where Trump is a white nationalist Russian agent and they've done this by endlessly repeating lies. Try to also keep in mind that the media and the Democrats have been calling Republicans racist and Nazis and white nationalists for a really long time. CNN took no issue comparing Bush to Hitler, yet they lost their minds when protesters compared Obama to a fascist. And they hoped the president would stop by after his meeting with business leaders. But while a lookalike showed up with a wad of cash, Mr. Bush did not. Come over here with me, please. You know, what is this supposed to mean? What, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, he's a fascist. The pirates... Wait, why do you say he's pirates? a fascist? He's the president he is, of the United States. He's a fascist. Do you, do, you realize how, uh, do you realize how offensive that is? I think... Look, hours after the white supremacist terror attacks at two mosques in New Zealand, President Trump was asked if he thought white nationalism was a rising problem around the world today. I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems, I guess. Not exactly a full-throated denunciation from the bully. But, and it but wait a second here. He wasn't even asked to denounce white supremacy. He was asked if he thought that white supremacy was growing to a larger problem. He goes on to disagree that it is a large problem, saying that it's a small group with serious problems. That doesn't sound like an endorsement to me at all. He even tried to be a little nuanced and left room for the possibility that it is a big problem, saying, I guess if you look at what happened in New Zealand, perhaps that's the case. That's a pretty measured, nuanced response, if you ask me. And just because he's not joining in on this media hysteria about white nationalists doesn't mean he's a secret white nationalist. We all remember the Charlottesville white nationalist marches, and we all remember President Trump's response. Very fine people on both sides. How dishonest can you get? Notice that he only played an extremely short snippet of that clip. Since CNN decided to lie to you, I'll go ahead and show you the entire clip. They showed up in Charlottesville. They showed up in Charlottesville to protest. Excuse me. They didn't make themselves down And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. Excuse me. Excuse me. I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now it was plainly obvious that he was referring to some of the people who were there to just protest the removal of the statues. There were also counter protesters there who were just regular people who were supporting the idea of tearing down the statues. Not everybody there was with a white supremacist group or Antifa, and this is who he was speaking about. The media purposely mischaracterized him and have been doing so for years now. You're about to see the Democrat mayor of New Orleans repeating and sounding a lot like the so-called CNN journalist that you just heard. It just goes to show again how the Democrat Party and the media are one and the same. They work together to promote and advance a Democrat Party agenda. The president's rhetoric when he first started this campaign and throughout his presidency, when he calls all Muslims terrorists, Mexicans rapists, African Americans criminals, wrong. <laughs> Let's just go down this list of claims and address them all individually.
first he claims that Trump said all Muslims are terrorists. And I'm almost 100% certain that never happened. Trump never said this. What Trump did do was institute a travel ban on some countries that are seen as hotbeds of Islamic terrorism. And it just so happens that these countries were on Barack Obama's list of the seven most dangerous countries in the world. Why doesn't this hat call Obama a racist? Because this is all just partisan political propaganda masquerading as hard-hitting news. Uh, I'm so tired of this, but this next claim is that he said all Mexicans are rapists. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. And this is yet another example of where Trump was actually being pretty measured and pretty nuanced, and yet the media still took his quote and mangled it to use as a weapon against him. Trump is specifically talking about a subset of Mexico. Right off the bat, he's not talking about the entire country, but a certain group of people within the country. What Trump is saying here, and I'm surprised I even have to explain it, is that some people that are coming across the border illegally are bad people. At no point did he describe all of Mexico in this way. He was talking about people coming across the border illegally, and of those people, some of them are bad and some of them are good. African Americans, criminals. This next claim where he says that Trump called all black Americans criminals? Did I miss something? I'm not at all aware of that. I did some searching and I couldn't find a single thing to back up this claim. This appears to just be something he made up on the fly and nobody called him on it. Why am I not surprised? If you oppose the left and you're skeptical of their propaganda media, prepare to get painted as the worst kind of racist boogeyman monster imaginable. Uh, it's going to be a long election season.